This document offers an insight into how medical staff categorise our calls when we dial 999 and ask for an ambulance and, crucially, how long it will then take for help to arrive. The report by the Association of Ambulance Chief Executives says they are facing unprecedented demand but explicitly stressed their ideas were confidential. It suggests crews should be given longer to arrive at emergencies that are classified as serious, such as strokes and fits, but less immediately time critical than the most severe call-outs, such as heart attacks. But it also suggests reclassifying some second-tier emergencies into the top, most serious category. A spokesman for the Department of Health told the BBC, we have given ambulances an extra £50 million this winter. The Secretary of State agreed that NHS England should investigate a proposal from the ambulance services themselves to see whether the service they offer the public could be improved. No decisions have been made and the Secretary of State would only agree to propose changes that improve response times for urgent cases. But the Shadow Health Secretary, Andy Burnham, said this was proof the government was running up the white flag and described the plan as nothing short of dangerous. These are all very serious situations. These are all potentially life-threatening situations. We are talking about stroke patients here. And while I said I would accept the debate, but I'm not saying that these changes are right mm. because these changes would lead to people in very serious situations waiting longer uh, for an ambulance to arrive. And I think we need to have the clinical evidence. It is yet another example of how big a tussle the political parties will have over the NHS in the countdown to the general election in May. Chris Mason, BBC News.